once we get through this seventh match here tonight, we're going to take a brief intermission and um, introduce the Rochester Elementary Program wrestlers tonight um, to show their efforts in taking part of the, our club this season. Three seconds to go in the first period. Josh is still down two to nothing. New Prairie had first choice going into the second period. They chose to defer to the third. Josh chooses down, hoping to get away and then get back to his feet and score a takedown. Good scramble at the edge of the mat, went out of bounds. Josh is still down. For you diehard wrestlers that are out there, you may know the scoring already, but um, takedowns are worth two points. Escapes are worth one. A reversal is when you are on the bottom and be become the offensive or top man. You get a two point reversal. Um, you get near fall points. There's two and three near fall. Um, two point near falls are when a referee, your back is exposed at a 45 degree angle for a two count. And then you get three point near fall if it's exposed for five seconds. And then obviously the ultimate goal is to pin your opponent if you can, which is holding the, your opponent's shoulders down on the mat for two, two full seconds or two full counts of the referee. Josh is in a position to score a reversal here. Looks like he may get it. Nothing yet. Good scramble by the new Prairie wrestler. Good hips. We may get a one point escape. No change, no change. Good scramble by both wrestlers. Josh is our 106 pounder on our normal day-to-day -day basis. Uh, bumped up again to wrestle Trent. And um, it, you can tell that he's given up a little bit of, of size to, to this new Prairie wrestler. Another scramble. Looks like Josh may get the reversal here. And he does. Eight seconds to go in the period. Score is tied two to two. Scores tied up, two to two, going into the third period. New Prairie has choice of top, bottom, or neutral. New Prairie chooses to go down. Trent of New Prairie tries to switch right off the whistle. Josh stops that. He's got control. He's working on a... Traps the arm. And New Prairie gets a reversal on Rochester. Score is now four to two with a minute 30 left in the third period. We've got one escape for Josh. He's down three to four. Takes a quick shot, thinking the New Prairie wrestler was not quite prepared. Oh, not a real good shot taken by Josh, and a defensive takedown was awarded to the New Prairie wrestler. He's now up six to three. 45 seconds to go.
Not sure the call there. Rest stopped wrestling and they went back to the center of the mat. If that was a warning call, he held his hand up in the air with his, a fist closed, which usually means warning. That's his second warning. Should have been a point awarded. But coach guard of the Rochester, head coach of the Rochester is not arguing anything, so I may have just inadvertently missed it. That's the end of the match. New Prairie wins 6-3. to three. And how team scoring goes at this point is, is you can get a pinfall, which is worth six points for your team. A forfeit is also worth six points. Um, you can win by decision, major decision, or a technical fall. Decision is a win a victory by one to seven points. A major decision is by eight to 14, and a technical is 15 or more. And, and they stop the match. And you score three points for a decision, four points for a major decision, five for a technical fall. So at this time, New Prairie is up nine to nothing on the Zebras, going into 120. And at 120, we have Aaron Orr for Rochester and Clay King of New Prairie. Thomas Rensberger is still wrestling JV at this time on the JV mat, and the score is 15 to seven. Rensberger is losing. Two takedown for New Prairie over on the varsity match. Aaron gets an escape, down two to one on their feet. Both wrestlers looking for a takedown. Orr scores a takedown. This goes up three to two on the match. 20 seconds to go in the first period. Aaron's working an arm bar trying to bring it across the back. Escape New Prey. We're all tied up three to three with six seconds to go. Rochester's choice, they defer. New Prey will choose down. Next up on the JV mat is Otto Sherbundy, wrestling 145. Officiating the varsity match is Mr. Hoover of Peru, and on the JV mat is Mr. Doan of Logan Sport. New Prairie scores a quick escape, goes up four to three. And he gets a takedown as well, goes up six to three. Possible reversal here. He's got to clear his head. Once he clears his head, he should get his two points. There he got it. He set his rest, the wrestler on his on his hip. His head's not popped. Even now, it's it's clear. But he did get the reversal. He's down five to six at this point. He's got the wrestler broken down. He's got a chicken wing in on the on the near side. He's looking to turn. He's got it. Oh, ref calls potential dangerous. No points are awarded. He just stops the match. Just just for safety precautions. New Prairie wrestler will, will go back down. Tough call if you're a Rochester fan.
Aaron brings the new prey wrestler back down to the mat. He's got his arm bar in again. He's looking to get work his wing in. Still 45 seconds to go in the second period. Aaron's doing a nice job riding the new prairie opponent right now. He's got wrist control. <laughs> Wrestlers go out of bounds. 22 seconds left in the second period. Aaron is still down by one point, five to six. Otto is up two to nothing in the second period on the JV match. Three seconds to go. He's got a cradle locked up, and he turns him, but the time expires in the second period. No points awarded. Rochester's choice, we're going down. Down one point with two minutes to go. Aaron quick to his feet, looking to get the escape and does. Match is now tied six to six. Wrestlers working the edge and go out of bounds. Back to the center for a neutral start. Good shot by Aaron. He's got him on his butt. He needs to climb up. There's the two. Oh, if the wrestler doesn't clear, we might get some near fall points here. He's got the half worked in. He's got this nice and tight. We're in good shape. He extends the wrestler out. He's going to go. He's just got to reposition. There he goes. He's got the wrestler to his back. Good position for Rochester. We need to uh, fall points to get back into the team score race. He's got this locked up pretty tight with about 55. There's the pin. With 52 seconds to go in the match, Aaron gets the pin. Great match by Aaron. This team score is now Rochester 6, New Prairie 9. Going into 126 pounds, Rochester will be wrestling John Hunting, a junior, against Colin Jacobs of New Prairie. Score correction on the JV match. I was wrong. New Prairie was up two to nothing uh, with Otto Shabundi. He is actually down right now six to one. John's in on a shot. New Prairie's sprawling out, gets out. Now they're both back to neutral. Nice defense by John on a shot, a deep shot, and he gets the takedown. Wrestlers go out of bounds. New Prairie will be down in the center. I'm not sure exactly how many wrestlers for New Prairie are seniors. Um, Looks like the new Prairie wrestler right now is cramping up. His, his right calf looks like it may be cramping up on him. Um, injury time has started, so the coach can come out and, and uh, try to loosen that up for him. Over on the JV match, Otto Shrabundi still wrestling. 
down six to nothing, but is on in the top position looking to turn his opponent and has got a chicken wing in on the near side, looking to run it up. He goes back. Looks like we may be going back to wrestling on the varsity map. John Hunting is, is a very good leg rider, a very good top wrestler. Um, looks like he may be in trouble here for a lot of people, but he, he turns his opponent and is it working on near fall at this time, possible fall here. New Prairie wrestler bridges through. Still, still in good shape here. John just very good with his hips. And he gets the fall in the first period. A minute 40 or a minute 39 in the first period, John Hunting gets the fall. Rochester now goes up 12 to nine team points. We go into the 132 pound weight class. Another junior for Rochester, Justin Schroeder is wrestling Tyler Kessler. On the JV map, Micah Whitfield is now wrestling and has an early takedown on his opponent. Smaller twin, Michael Whitfield, gets a quick fall in just a little over a minute on the JV mat. While that is going on, New Prairie gets a takedown on the varsity side. Quick reversal by Schroeder. Match is tied two to two. Up next on the JV match is the larger of the twin brothers, Deshaun Whitfield. Schroeder has a chicken wing in, looking to get some near fall points. He's got plenty of time. He's got the wrestler to, ex Matt's, I'm sorry, his back is now exposed to the mat. He's getting his near fall count. He's got his three near fall, or his, his count, but he's working for the fall. He's looking pretty good. He steps back over here. He's in really good position. 30 seconds to go. Long time to fight off your back. And he gets the fall. One minute, 40 seconds in the first period. Rochester extends its team lead, 18 to nine. Going into 138 pounds, another junior, Jay Heckathorn, the older brother to Josh, is wrestling John Trent. It's a, I would assume, brother versus brother matches tonight. Little brother Josh wrestled Chris Trent. This is now John Trent.
Deshaun does not get the victory as his brother did in the JV match. Next up on the JV is Jaron Chisholm. The varsity match, both wrestlers are still feeling each other out, looking to get the first takedown of the match. Josh worked to an outside single, quickly to a double. He's in a sunshine position now, sits the wrestler to his hip. He's got to clear his head. He's got the leg hooked. Stalemate by the referee. Coach, Coach Guard thought that may have been a little bit of a quick stalemate call, but... But uh, nevertheless, that's what the, the referee called. And then quick takedown by New Prairie off the whistle. Scramble position, looking for a reversal by Jay. There's the two reversal. Two seconds, one into the first. We're all tied up, two to two. Rochester chooses to go down. He's got hand controls, looking to clear it and come to his feet. New Prairie's putting a lot, of, a lot of pressure on him to keep him down. At a tripod position, now he's up to his feet. Quick cross face by the New Prairie wrestler, hoping to get some quick near falls. Jay gets out of it. No change in the position with 40 seconds to go in the second on the varsity match. We got a scramble situation. One escape. Rochester's up three to two, neutral with 31 seconds to go in the second period. New Prairie gets a fall on the JV mat. Next up on the JB mat for Rochester is Dylan Siebert. 14 seconds to go. Wrestlers are coming back to the center to start in the neutral position. No change, New Prairie's choice going into the third. He chooses to go down. Jay, another very good wrestler off from the top position to see if he can stop his first move and does. Gets hand control. Looks like we got a quick tilt. He's got his opponent to his back. Rolls through, no point, but he's still in the position to score some possible near fall points. He's got to clear his leg and some walks around the top of the opponent's head. 
Looks like he may have lost his his, uh, his hold. It's a quick tilt, but he's working here. He's actually got a, a form of a chicken wing in. He's running the head, the shoulder over to his ear, and then running around the head. Close to near fall points here. Referee is down in position, looking closely to see if he can start counting. There's a quick burst of energy, but he rolled through it. There's no near fall points, no, no count awarded here. New, New Prairie ends up coming out of the scramble with a reversal, goes up four to three. And has got a chicken wing in on the on his would be his far side now, the right side. He's looking to get an arm bar. Jay is just trying to defend it. Not sure if, if Jay's hurt or what, but he's kind of just laying on the bottom right now. Thirty-five seconds to go in the match. Quick reversal by Jay goes up five to four right now with 15 seconds to go. Question is, will he be able to ride the opponent out? T throws a quick leg in. Looks like he may get it done. Four seconds. Three, two, one. Great matchup by both Heckathorn and Trent brothers where they split against each other tonight. Trent gets the victory with the smaller brothers, and the bigger ones, Hecathorn, gets the win by 5-4. to four. Again, extends Rochester's lead 21-9, to nine, going into the seventh match of the evening. At 145 is senior Ben Horbin wrestling Jaron Young from New Prairie. Nice shot by New Prairie. Very well defended by Horbin. Once this match concludes, we will be taking an intermission to introduce the elementary program wrestlers. We have 58 young elementary wrestlers in our program this year. Wrestlers were working the edge of the mat and a whip over happened by the New Prairie wrestler and it would have been successful but they were both out of bounds. Back to the center. This is a difference of a long linky wrestler versus a short stocky wrestler. Another just basically just barreled through the Rochester wrestler and it has him to his back, getting near fall points. And gets a quick fall in 59 seconds in the first period. Team score through seven, Rochester 21, New Prairie 15. We will get to the conclusion of this JV match. We've got one more period to go in this JV match. And uh, we will then announce our elementary wrestlers.
right now, Rochester appears to be up nine to nothing in this match. If the match were to end right now, they, he would score four team points by virtue of a major decision. Snaps the wrestler to the mat, but he did not get clear his legs, although he still may get his takedown. Did get his takedown. And again, I was wrong. Nine points is the new Prairie wrestler. Rochester just scored their first points of the match. Score is nine to two. One escape, now it's 10 to two. Score is now 12 to two with four seconds to go. Okay, once we clear the mat, we will start introducing the elementary wrestlers. And Jabez Yarber. At the first grade level, we have Brady Furnival. Ethan Jackson, Reese Johnson, Brady Morgan, future champ right there. Now for our second grader, DJ Basham. Brady Beck. And there you have it, the future of Rochester Wrestling. And now we'll resume our wrestling at the 152 pound level. Back to the action. At 152, the second of our trio of, oh, I'm sorry, I take that back. The second of our three seniors, Braxton Lee, Last year wrestled 160 for us, but he's wrestling 152 this year and is wrestling Cody McLeod. And in on a quick shot is McLeod. Braxton scrambles well out of there.
Up on the JV mat is Wes Beck. Wes Beck transferred from Tippecanoe Valley and is now here at Rochester and has been cleared to start wrestling varsity on January 1st. But as of right now, he is only cleared to wrestle at JV and he's wrestling. He'll be wrestling in the 195 spot for us when that time comes. Braxton Lee in, finally scores his two takedown, goes up two to nothing, throws in the legs. Looks to be a little high, could be in danger here. Braxton likes to ride legs, he's, he's comfortable in this position. Close to near fall position, but referee says no. Does not get the shoulders cleared to a 45 degree angle. It's very close again as time runs out of the first period. Raxon up two to nothing. Choice to New Prairie. They choose to defer. Braxton quickly chooses to go down. He gets set in the center of the mat, wants to keep the tempo of this match up. Rochester at this point feels they are in better shape than New Prairie and can, can um, maybe win a couple duels that are going to be close down to the wire by just being in better shape at this point in time of the season. Scramble position. Braxton looks good for a possible reversal here and maybe some near fall. Good hips by the new Prairie wrestler. He's an experienced wrestler. You can tell he just hadn't started. We got an escape. We're up three to nothing. Go back to the center as neutral. Wrestlers will work for a takedown. Nice single leg by the New Prairie wrestler. Interesting defense by uh, Braxton. No takedown yet, but he's actually in the um, offensive position from the New Prairie wrestler taking a shot. If he can sit his hip down and circle and clear his leg, he may be able to score. There he goes. If he can get it behind that leg, there he gets his takedown. He's now up five to nothing. West gets a, a fall over on the JV mat. And up at heavyweight on the JV is Randall Brack, last year's varsity heavyweight wrestler for us. Into the second period, New Prairie chooses to go down, down five to nothing. <clears throat> this is where Braxton needs to start working for bonus points for his team. It looks like he's, he's in pretty good control of the match at this point in time. He needs to start thinking about keeping the pressure on and scoring extra points to get the, that extra major decision point for the, the team purposes. Close to near fall points again. Very close. 
New Prairie knows this situation, knows how, is, is working well out of it. He's not out of the woods yet, but he's, he's, he's defending it well. Very close to near fall counts. Referee stops the action for another potentially dangerous move. It, it, it putting a lot of pressure on the wrestler's shoulder to trying to get him to his back. Now he's got a count. Nope. He gets a two near fall count. Seven to nothing victory. Does not get the major decision. However, does get the win for the Zebras, putting them up 24 to 15. Next up, at 160, Garrett Shane is wrestling Dalton Escobedo. Escobedo is one of New Prairie's more decorated wrestlers, most experienced, pretty good wrestler. He's in on a single, steps over, switches to a double, lifts, always oh, got the half straight to his back. Garrett's trying to get out and gets shoulders put down and ref calls for a pin. Team snap score after 160, Rochester 24, New Prairie 21. Going into 170, you have senior Tyler Downauer wrestling Wade Young. Nice little inside step to the single. It worked out of bounds. Tyler's in on multiple shots. Not much success, but th these shots are taking his toll on, on his opponent. Will wear him down through time. Tyler wrestled 152 for the Zebras last year. Um, Braxton and Tyler decided to switch spots this year. And um, actually, Tyler is, has bumped up a weight class to wrestle Wade Young today. Yet another shot by Tyler. Mm -hmm. 
Another scramble, nothing comes of it. 30 seconds to go, first period. If Tyler can keep this pace up, it may work in his favor coming into the, the fifth and sixth minute of the third period. <clears throat> Nice double by Tyler. He may be able to finish this, oh, and he goes out of bounds. Another great shot, another great shot. What does not work now in the first minute or two minutes may work in the fifth and sixth minute of the match. Zero to zero. New Prairie chooses down. Caution red. Jump the whistle of the referee. Flurry of moves, New Prairie wrestler scores a quick escape. Now he goes up one to nothing. Tyler's in on a nice double. Looks like he possibly, he does score the two takedown. New Prairie seems to be a little funky wrestler. Likes to, likes to use his hips and do a lot of whip overs. Did not work with the experienced Tyler. I expect to see another quick move off the whistle from the New Prairie wrestler. And he's away. Score is now two to two. One takedown and two quick escapes for the New Prairie wrestler, and we're on our feet. Good scramble by both wrestlers. Nobody scores a takedown. See a little frustration on the New Prairie wrestler after that scramble, thinking he was going to have the takedown, but good movement on Tyler's part. Long double by Tyler, maybe a little too far out. He repositions and shoots again. New Prairie wrestler squirms out of bounds. Got to be careful with that. You can be called for stalling and hit for a one point. Yep, New Prairie wrestler slow to get up. Looks like uh, fatigue is starting to set in. This is where Tyler, he keeps, keeps the pressure on, stays in his face. Just got to be careful for that big move. There's a stalling calling on the New Prairie wrestler for backing up. He is on his heels. Tyler looks, looks fairly fresh. Quickly back to the center of the mat. It hips up by Tyler here. Oh, he could have scored his two. No change. Scores two to two going into the third period. Rochester's choice. Ty decides to go down. New Prairie wrestler shows the referee, puts his hands both in the air for a neutral position, giving a free point to Tyler, basically saying, no need to start the match, just give him his one, we'll start on our feet. So Tyler is now up three to two. Working for takedown. Tyler is in there, what we like to call banging, banging heads, changing ties. 
New Prairie Wrestlers just hanging on our wrist right now. We got to clear that and, and uh, work for our shots. Right there's a shot. Circles back out to his feet. <clears throat> that was a nice hard double the New Prairie Wrestler just hit. He's tired, but he's got enough in him to, to hit one good hard shot, and it worked out for him at this time. A minute 15 to go. New Prairie is up four to three. New Prairie actually is just riding the hips. He needs to jump one side or the other. He is going to hit for stalling. Right there it is. Mr. Hoover hits him for stalling for riding the hips. One point Rochester. Match is now tied four to four. Rochester is still down. When you're on the offensive position, you have got to work to advance your position. You can't just sit on the hips and ride them to where the Rochester or your opponent can't do anything. Looks like we've got a uh, quick headgear check. I like to call that a quick breather, but we're not supposed to say that. Wrestler calls for neutral. Rochester goes up five to four again. He takes another quick shot. Another takedown. He's up six to five. Tyler's working to get up, and they worked out of bounds. Back to the center, 50 seconds to go. Rochester down five to six. New Prairie wrestler was nodding off the, his coaches, telling him to let him up. He didn't want to. New Prairie wrestler's tired. He calls neutral. We're tied six to six again. He didn't want to. He's too tired. So we hit the shot and get a quick takedown. Rochester's now up eight to six. Forty seconds to go. Ah, he's gonna. He's a headhunter. He likes to roll. Two reversal. Now we're tied eight to eight. 30 seconds to go. Both wrestlers giving it everything they got. Which one has the bigger gas tank? That's the question. New Prairie wrestler is not, now he jumped to one side. See who's got the gas to get the quick takedown in overtime. We go to sudden victory. Clock set to one minute, wrestler start neutral. First takedown wins it. If you, by chance, take your opponent down to his back, you can work for a pinfall to get the bonus points for the team. Here we go, New Prairie slow to get back. Does he have enough gas in him to hit another hard double like he did before? Oh, he's backed up. Both wrestlers are very tired at this point. Who wants it more? Nothing yet. Quick movement. Almost gave up a takedown by Rochester. We are literally to the point of which wrestler wants it more. Oh, Rochester almost scores the takedown, but he didn't. Flee in the mat. Rochester wins the match by a fleeing the mat call. De New Prairie was trying to defend his match, to defend the shot, but he ran out of bounds and got called for stalling. Overtime victory to Rochester. Referee hates to make those calls, and you're going to make half of the gym happy and half the gym very mad. Next up, we have Adam Basham at 182, bumped up as well to wrestle Dylan Flugo. Rochester now has a 27 to 21 lead with four weight classes to go.
the last match got both teams, all the wrestlers, to the edge of the mat, adding a little bit more excitement to this duel. New Prairie in on a shot. Adam is doing a nice job of defending it. Now they're back in the collar. Oh, he's in possible trouble here. Two takedown, but he's out of bounds. Can't give up the near fall. Wrestlers go out of bounds. Back to the center. New Prairie did get a takedown. They are up two to nothing. New Prairie wrestler trying a power half to get to basically bully Basham over to his back, pushing his head underneath, trying to get a quick near fall count. Putting a lot of pressure on his shoulder. Mr. Hoover doesn't feel that this is potentially dangerous. However, the time runs out in the first period. New Prairie chooses to go down in the second period. That might be an illegal hold he's got there. Got a lot of pressure on that shoulder. I like it. He's got him turned to his back. He's got some near fall points coming. New Prairie wrestler rolls through. Oh, he does not give two point count, two point near fall. No change yet in position. Big scramble. We got a two reversal now. New Prairie goes up four to nothing. Wrestler just lets him go. We're on our feet. Score is four to one. Took a lot of energy out of that new prairie wrestler to roll through that. A lot of strength, but also a lot of energy. Looks like he might be having a little headgear issues. Now we're finally set. Basham walked right into a front head. He's trying to get whipped over, but he looks like he, oh, we got a lot of rolling going on. Just some funky, just some funky wrestling to a quick pin. New Prairie gets a quick pin and ties the dual meet up 27 to 27. We're going to 195. We have Rochester's Taylor Pugh wrestling Derek, the brother of Dylan. <laughs> they have a long, hard last name to pronounce. <laughs> 
We have three matches to go, and the team score is knotted up at 27s. New Prairie gets a takedown, looking for some near fall. Possible fall here, he's got a good position. He's in a half Nelson, trying to reposition and he gets it, he gets it locked in pretty tight. Long time to fight off our back. And he gets the fall in just a little under a minute. New Prairie goes up in the duel, 33 to 27. At 220, we have junior Jordan Schaefer versus Miguel Ibarra. Schaefer hits a high double, pulls back, and then tries to lock up a bear hug, but they run out of bounds. Back to the center. New Prairie is looking for a front headlock, but could not get it. Snap. Quick scramble by the New Prairie wrestler. Forty seconds to go in the first period and still no points awarded to either wrestler. Inadvertent eye poke. Wrestler's okay. Back to the center. 13 seconds. Wrestlers tie up but run out of time. Go into the second. Rochester chooses to go down. Reversal Schaefer goes up two to nothing. Trying to start his attack on his offense. He's got a spiral ride going. Finds the bar, got a, got a near side half, he peels it off.
Jordan's going to use the crossface bundle. Yep, he's going to run it around the head. He's possibly got some near fall points here. Oh, he works back to the hips. Decides that that was not a safe move at this time. Oh, a quick tilt. Referee in position. Doesn't make the count. He didn't get in position quick enough. We got a three count. There's a near fall possible here, but we're looking at a possible fall. He's got a leg trapped, and he's got, he's got his shoulders. They're within being pinned here. We got three seconds to go. Oh, he's still wrestling. Oh. Okay, we got a three-point near fall, and we got an injury with 0.1 seconds left in the second period. Looks like his right knee. Wrestler's up, walking around. Looks like he's been able to put some pressure on it. He's going to try to continue on. Point one seconds. Basically, he's going to blow the whistle and the sound's going to go off. Third period, New Prairie gets to choose. Chooses neutral. Going into third, Rochester's up five to nothing. Both wrestlers are locked up. New Prairie gets the advantage this time. He's got us, got the Rochester wrestler on his back. He's got a half in. He's in, he's not in good, New Prairie's in good position. Jordan decides to fight out and does. He's off his back. Three near fall. Score is now eight to five. Rochester. Jordan's reaching for his feet, trying to clear his feet off of his legs. Now he's got to turn and go. He's got to belly in and kind of slide out. Waiting a little bit too long. He wasn't sure which way to go. But he's out of the danger zone. Now he's on his base. He needs to work his way out. Oh, he's clamped on the new Prairie's ankle with his legs. He needs to let go of that and, and get out. Twenty five seconds to go. New Prairie's wanting wanting the Rochester wrestler to come up so he can whip him over.
seven seconds to go. New Prairie says he wants him up neutral. That gives us a point. The score is now nine to five. New Prairie is going to be looking for a quick throw for a quick count to get a possible five point move and win the match 10 to nine. Good strategy on the New Prairie part. He's got the front head and runs out of time. Rochester wins nine to five. That's a decision, that's three points. Going into the final match of the night, New Prairie is up 33 to 30. Final match of the night, sorry, I spaced out a little bit here, is Lane Coffin for Rochester wrestling Trevor Moore of New Prairie. Match comes down to uh, this final match here. Um, Rochester wins by decision. It's a tie dual meet. They'll have to go down to tiebreaker by criteria. If, it, if Rochester wins by anything more than a decision, they win the duel. If Rochester loses the match, they lose the duel. Nice shot. Lane came out for wrestling this year. Hasn't been out since middle school and, and, and uh, won out the varsity position at heavyweight. He's a very small heavyweight wrestler. He was only weighs about 220 pounds. Um, this wrestler does not look much bigger than him at this time either. The, the weight limit for heavyweight is 285 pounds. Got dragged by and uh, caught for a two-point takedown. Nice job working to his feet. We just got to circle away and get our one, and he does with just one second to go in the first period. Nice job by Lane. Scrambling to get that one point at the end of the period. Score is two to one, New Prairie. New Prairie defers. Rochester cho chooses to go down in the second period. Again, a win by Lane in any way, shape, or form guarantees a tie for the team. Another as quick escape. Score is now tied two to two, looking for a takedown. In on a collar tie. Reaches for the single, trying to pull it in. Multiple shots defended well by the new Prairie wrestler. 35 seconds to go in the second period. Score is tied two to two. New Prairie in on a shot. 
and they go out of bounds. That is uh, some of the tough results on edge of the mat wrestling. Some wrestlers become very good at knowing where they are on the mat and like to try maybe some takedowns that they wouldn't normally try in the middle of the mat because they can work their way out of bounds or something if it doesn't go their way. Uh, I think that's what happened there. So wrestlers go back to the center and start again. New Prairie wrestler took a step back and took a deep breath. And the end of the second, we're tied two to two. New Prairie has choice going down. This is where the uh, inexperience comes. We got a locked hands and an escape, which will put the New Prairie wrestler up four to two. Rochester's got to got to force some action here. Minute 30 to go with two down two points. Nice hard shot. Takes him clear to the other side of the mat, but runs out of real estate. Back to the center with 51 seconds to go. Another high double. We're down to 20 seconds. We got to get. We got to. We got to make something happen. New Prairie's happy to just stand back and to take the small victory. Another shot. Under 10 seconds. And that's the way it's going to end. New Prairie gets the victory, four to two. The final team score tonight: New Prairie 36, Rochester 30. Great duel by both teams. We'd like to wish luck to both teams for the rest of their season. And uh, thanks everyone out there and Channel 4 land out watching the match tonight. And uh, we hope to, to have you tune in for some more later this year. Rochester does not wrestle until next Thursday at North Miami. And then they go the following Saturday and wrestle at Logan Sports Super Duels. If you have some time, come out and join us. Thanks for watching.